Today is <laughs> Thursday, April 29th, 2021. We're here in Fort Pickens, Florida. We came down here. Today's vlog has nothing to do with Aikido, but everything to do with Aikido. What do you think about uh, Fort Pickens, Florida? It's beautiful. What do you think about this trip with your dad? It's a lot of fun. Yeah? Yeah. This is like our second trip, right? Yeah. The no, third trip, right? Third trip. Is Blue Lagoon, Lake Travis, mm -hmm. and then Fort Pickens. Yeah. And the first two we did scuba diving. Mm -hmm. It's pretty awesome, huh? Yeah. So initially I said this has nothing to do with Aikido, but everything to do with Aikido because what I wanted to touch upon today, because we're not doing any techniques because Anna is, could have been a black belt in Aikido. Would have. Would have been. But, but let's talk about that. When, when you were doing Aikido, mm -hmm. did you want to do Aikido? No. No, right? But I forced you to do Aikido. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I forced her to do Aikido because <laughs> sensei, daughter, Aikido, right? Sure. I made you do Aikido because I'm the sensei. No, because you're my dad. Exactly. And the sensei. Sure. But then my point today is, is like, so I did this vlog, ah, oh, mosquito. Several years ago, I did a book review on talent is overrated. And, and it was all about finding your why. So this trip for me, there's a big why for this trip, right? Because I, I want to get in the habit of taking trips and maybe someday doing some travel vlogs. I have done a few travel vlogs on my channel. You can check them out. But, and also check out that book review if you haven't. And, um, and your why, why do you want to do Aikido? If you want to get better at Aikido, you definitely have to focus on your why. Why do you want to do Aikido? Anna, this is a good example, right? Like you did not want to do Aikido. Yeah. So, so you know, you, you'd never reach that black belt status. <laughs> I definitely would have reached my black belt status. You did enough years. Like how mm -hmm. many years of Aikido did you do? I don't know, a lot. Well, let's see. I was forced into it since I was yeah. a little kid. Yeah, very small. And then I stopped. I mean, I used to take you to the dojo when you were a baby. Yeah, and then I stopped when I was like eighth grade. Do you think you'll ever start again? You think you'll ever do Aikido again? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know that there's one person that doesn't watch my videos and comment on them. I do. You do? Yeah. Yeah, like one? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, Multiple. Yeah, that's true. You know, that's the point, like finding your why. You're going to go on a trip to Paris, right? Mm-hmm. And you have a big why. Like, why do you want to go to Paris? Because I want to travel. Yeah, right? And you, you, have, you had a serious challenge, right, in, in uh, preparing for the trip, coming up with the money for the trip, because I'm not paying for it. <laughs> okay, I don't pay for trips like that, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and and you did it, right? Yeah. So so your why was very strong. You want to travel. You want to experience new cultures. You want to travel overseas, and and you did everything on your own, which is amazing. Mm-hmm. Right. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So 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 finding you know you found that why, and and that's just the most important thing. Um, and of course that why changes over time. Like a lot of times you start Aikido because you want to learn some self-defense. Why do I want to do Aikido? Because I want to learn self-defense. It's a good idea to find an Aikido instructor that focuses more on self-defense than more on the spiritual stuff. But, you know, that's a great reason to start Aikido. Some people start Aikido because they want to get into the spiritual stuff, the spiritual side of Aikido. They've got their why. And finding the teacher to match that is going to help you stick with it longer and longer and longer. It's 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. I've never heard that saying before. You've never heard that saying before? No. It's 1% inspiration. So you've got that, like you, you had this, this, this desire to go to Paris. I think it's like 50-50. No way. The desire is like snap like a, like a dime. Like it's like, boom, you want to go to Paris. How much work have you put into going to Paris? Uh, not a lot yet. What do you mean not a lot? You had to search for the tickets. Yeah, that's right. You had it. to come up with the money for the tickets. I already had the money for the tickets. Well, not really. I mean, you kind of sort of, but not really. I mean, you had to transfer that money into dollars. Yeah, but like that was easy. Yeah. I think it's 
50-50. You have to no want way. it pretty bad. Really? You think it's yeah. 50 50? Maybe, maybe 40 60? No, it's like an Aikido. Like I want to do Aikido. Definitely not 99. But no, one. because like I want to do Aikido, but it's going to take me 40 years to get good at Aikido. That's 1% inspiration, yeah, but, 99 minutes perspiration. Okay, perspiration. But it's going to, because it's going to take you 44, 40 years? 44? 40, 40 years to get good at Aikido? Yeah, if it takes you 40 years, you have to really have to be inspired by it. And I think that's a lot, like a lot of percentage. But compared to how much work you have to put into it. Yeah, that's why it's like 60-40. Oh, well, yeah. well, I disagree with you. I'm sorry, Ann. I mean, I mean, we can agree to disagree, right? But I disagree with you. Okay, okay. Yeah. Because it's, it's like, it's a lot of hard work. I mean, you, you know, you're going to class every day, you're training, sweating, you're, you're being, getting sore. You're, you know, there's just so much involved. And you have to focus on the techniques. You have to focus on the lessons. You have to read books. You know, there's so much involved that, that to get good at it, right? I guess, I guess so. Yeah. And you're at that stage in your life where you're starting to try to figure out what you want to do for the rest of your life, you know? Mm-hmm. So this is a good conversation with you. Like, you know, you can start thinking oh. about it. Hey, you know, I want to do this. And then, oh yeah, you know, you got to do all that just to get to that one point. Yeah, you know? I guess you're right. Yeah. I remember when I was 18 years old and mm -hmm. I wanted to become a filmmaker and, um, for, I, I don't want to get into the specifics of the story right now, but, but for some reason or other, one of these days maybe I'll talk about that story, um, I ended up not being able to pursue that dream and that passion when I was 18. I ran away, I went to Japan, and I pursued doing Aikido. So I thought to myself, if I can't become a filmmaker, what can I do? Well, I've been doing martial arts since I was five, you know, and I really enjoy doing Aikido. Uh -huh. So I want to get really good at Aikido. So I flew to Japan and I did Aikido every day and, and I got really good, you know, and I'm still getting good every day because I, I still want to get good at Aikido. Mm -hmm. But then I came back to America and I finally on my own pursued my passion to become a filmmaker. And that's part, in part why I make these videos because I am a filmmaker. Yep. Yeah. So that's my story. So someday you're going to have a story like that too. One day. Yeah, I know. You know, you're just getting started. One day, far, far away. <laughs> yeah. If you want to get better at Aikido, think about your why. And, and, and really consider it. I would write it down. You know, that's the, uh, the vision and the mission statement. You know, you make a mission statement of, of why you want to get good at Aikido and what it's, what's it going to bring into your life. And that will help you get better at Aikido. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this is helping you guys get better at Aikido. Please remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, hit that thumbs up button, and I'll see you on the next video.